Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello teacher. Hello, yeah, first, teacher. you know, first time I see your face, sir, Mr. Giovanni Orellana. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Very good, very good. Very good, sir. Yes. Very good. Nice. You know, it, you know, it's good that you join us, you know, tonight, at least tonight. What? You know, I, I'm happy that you're with us in this class, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, hopefully you're going to learn something tonight, you know? I think what we're going to be studying tonight is going to be useful for you, you know, but útil, you know, useful for you. Okay. Hopefully, you know, that's the idea in here. So just one second in here. Okay, so just one second. So let me let me ask uh, Giovanni, uh, are you able to see the screen and sharing the, like the PowerPoint presentation model? <laughs> can you see can you see that presentation and sharing with you? Like, do you? Yes, see uh, yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Let me just go full screen in here. And now is it like full screen? You know, full, full screen. screen. Okay. Thank you, sir. So week three, you know, week three. In thanks, God, we know we made it until week three. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I week mean, week three. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Correct. Yes. So six, per, let's see, five students only. I have you, Mr. Giovanni, Mr. Loriana, I have Felipe. Hi, Felipe. It is, it is, is over here too. Mirna, Raquel. Hi, teacher. Yeah, hello, Mirna. And then uh, Miss Campos, Raquel. There we go. You know, uh, Giovanni, I'm speaking to you, Mr. Giovanni, because uh, I want you to understand, you know, uh, how the class works. You know, we have a tradition in this class, you know, a habit. Tenemos un habit. We have a habit. No, no, no. We have a habit. Tenemos un hábito nosotros en clase. Okay. Uh, in, uh, okay. Yes. I want to share, you know, what that habit is. But I'm going to ask one of your friends. Let's see. Uh, uh, let me ask over here. Raquel, Miss Campos, could you please unmute your microphone? Yeah, thank you. I can hear you over there. How do we start the class? You know, after saying hello and how are you doing and everything, what's the first thing that I show you in the presentation or we talked about, you know, most of the time? Right. Yes, Raquel? We cannot hear her, right? <laughs> no problem. Let's see, uh, Ms. Lopez, Mirna, please. Yes. Thank you. So what's the first thing that we talk about every single class? Hablamos alrededor de una frase. Aha, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about that. And yeah, my point is this. So today we're going to be talking about two phrases. The first one is cause the norm and leg which the translation in Spanish would be costar un ojo de la cara. And then the second one is two left feet. For example, you know, cumbias, you know, in Christmas are coming are around the corner. Que vienen los cumbiones de final de año. <laughs> Hermano Flores, etc. And if you're not good at dancing, it means that you, uh, you have two left feet. Tenemos dos pies zurdos, dos pies izquierdos. Yes or not? 
<laughs> okay. And uh, for example, if you want to buy, if you want to buy a very expensive cell phone, or let's say a car, or a very expensive uh, computer, you know, uh, you can say a computer costs an arm and a leg. Me cuesta un ojo de la cara. Right? Do, do we have an expression in Spanish, like Salvadorian Spanish, to, to say this? Hay una expresión así bien salvadoreña para decir esto, que me cuesta un ojo de la cara. Si, si se puede decir, ¿verdad? If you can actually say that. Yes or not? Sorry about that. Yeah, can anybody help me out over here? You know, to, to uh, tell me. If there's an expression in Spanish, like Salvadorian Spanish, Español Salvadoreño, similar to this one. Me cuesta, me cuesta un ojo de la cara. Let me ask, Mr. David Magaña, is there any expression, you know, or any uh, idiomatic expression in slang, you know, Salvadorian slang, Caliche Salvadoreño, to say the same thing, you know, que me cuesta un ojo. You know, in, in palabras menos, menos uh, amables, quizás más coloquiales. Do we have? I don't really remember, you know, I don't really remember. But if we have, we might have. Any idea, Mr. Magaña, David? Hola, hola, hi. Yes, sir, Good. yes, hello. <laughs> hello, sir, hey. yeah. Um, no, I don't remember now. Okay, that's okay, sir. If you don't remember, that's okay. So let me ask you in regards, to, uh, you know, related to the second to the second idiom, do you have uh, two left feet or are you good at dancing? Or, or were you good at dancing when you were younger, Mr. Magaña? Era bailarín usted. <laughs> were you good at dancing? Uh, a little. <laughs> Just a little, bit. okay. Just a little, bit. okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yes, um, because because it's the dance folkloric. Oh, folkloric. Okay, yeah, yeah. Music long term. Uh, I would say a few years ago it was a little bit different, right? Right now with this reggaeton yeah. and everything, you don't really dance, right? You just I don't know no, how to call no. that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's not really dancing, right? Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, one person over here, Ingrid, would you like to help us uh, to read the first, uh, you know, the information related to cost an arm and a leg, like the question you have in there, and then the explanation in, in the examples, please. Yes, Ingrid, would you like to help us, please? <coughs> or somebody else. Let's see, Mr. Oriana. Mr. Oriana, uh, Giovanni? Tell me. Yes, sir. So could you please read this, this part, you know, the first image I'm pointing over here. If you don't mind. Uh, English. Uh, la presentación, quiero que lea. Yeah, read the, 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 the example of cost an arm and a leg. Yes, what cost an arm and a leg when something costs an arm. Si, por favor, eso lea. English corporativo. Uh, English but, do, but oh. no, but do you do you see the presentation more also? Or no, no le comp muy bien. Disculpe. No, permita, no se preocupe. Este, es, es, ah. estoy, compa estoy compartiendo pantalla la presentación. Oh, hoy sí. Oh, sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, bye. The world of the night. Yes. Uh, cost an arm and a leg. What? What costs an arm and leg when sometimes costs an arm and leg? It is very expensive. Notice the following. One, how this day costs an arm and leg? College, two. Number two, college costs me an arm and leg. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this reminds me of something else. If you send your children, si manda a sus hijos, you know, if you send your children to a private school, sometimes, you know, that costs 
an arm and a leg. ¿Sí o no es caro mandar a, a, a nuestros hijos a, a estudiar a un buen colegio? Eh, claro. Yeah, it, it's expensive, right? But it, I think it's worth it. You know, o sea, vale la pena. It's, it's worth it. Yeah, it's very expensive. So, most of the time, it costs an arm and a leg. The tuition, you know, la, la matrícula, you know, tuition. Let me send that word into the chat over here. The tuition. Ya se acercan las matrículas, ¿verdad? Ahí se va el aguinaldo. <laughs> okay. Tuition, you know, esa es la matrícula. Y de ahí las colegiaturas son de fees, you know, fees. Tuition, uh, uh, matrícula, perdón, one time payment, and then the fees yeah. son las mensualidades. So, why am I talking about this? Because tuitions, o sea, matrículas, sometimes cost an arm and a leg. Am I correct or not? Sí o no? Yes or not? O sea, cuesta un ojo de la cara, las matrículas. Is correct in the right. Yeah, at the uh, price. The first. The first, Mariah. Thank you, sir. That second one, uh, I'm not going to provide more details because this one has to do with, you know, the uh, ability to dance. And if you're not a good dancer, that means that you have two left feet. Tiene dos pies izquierdo. That's the meaning of it. All right? Con los cumbiones, verdad, de fin de año. Se traba todo. Ya, ya sabía que... Más está así. Yes. <laughs> but, 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 start drinking, drinking. <laughs> no, but, but what if, it, if if this happens you know if you're a little bit tipsy un poco ya mareado tocado like we said in spanish right tipsy tipsy, tipsy you know if you're a little bit tipsy si está un poquito tocado ya yeah, ahí, ahí, ahí se le, si está carón cabal tipsy. si está carón se le olvida verdad se le olvida <laughs> big face yeah está cachudo you know decía mi abuelo Está cachudo, you know, my, my grandpa used to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's this little time, por cierto, you know, so I have a lot, a lot of vocabulary from over there. Y por fin pensé, ya. Yeah. Correct. You're right. right. Nice. Uh, but you, you see my point over here. But you can see my point, pero si ven mi punto, you know, the one I'm trying to explain here. Yes? I appreciate that. Yeah. So last week, I promised you know, to all of you that I was going to review the Inglés Corporativo Plataforma. And that's what we're going to do right now. So if you have it open, that's okay. If you don't have it open, no problem. But I'm gonna use, let's say, the next uh, two minutes to review, to review this, okay? And here we go. So you were supposed to complete this which is in direct questions. It's, it's a way to ask a question politely, okay? So that's the way an indirect question should be done. Pero lo vamos a poner en espera esto, ¿verdad? Solamente les quiero decir que esto es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Pero I think I need to explain to you the grammar and then you're going to help me complete this. Vamos a explicar un poquito la gramática y después vamos a completar esto. If you did it already, that's great. But we're going to try to do this all together. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So in the meantime, let's start with the rest of the class. ¿Verdad? Prosigamos con, lo, con, lo, con los temas de la clase de este día. ¿Verdad? Pueden tomarle captura de pantalla si quieren. Eh, you can get a screenshot or I can send these images to you. You see, no problem in here. But uh, this is going to be the explanation for you. No los quiero confundir, así que les voy a mostrar eh, esta parte de aquí. Permítanme. This one over here. I'm just going to uh, move this, you know, uh, to this side. Okay. So try to get this... Uh, Information, you know, try to remember this, or at least try to understand. But, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to send this image to you. Le voy a mandar esa, esa imagen que tiene la explicación verdecita en gramática en estos momentos. Okay, I'm going to send that to you. 
So let me just one second, porque creo que es mejor tener la explicación, ¿verdad? Si usted la puede estar revisando mientras yo estoy explicándole, eh, usted puede estar como, no sé, tomando notas o apuntes. So are we good up to this point? Sorry about that. Are we good? Estamos bien. Well, let's change. So everyone, are we good? Yes. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. So let's let's uh, go ahead and, and talk about point number one and point number two. But in this case, you're gonna help me read. So I'm gonna ask uh, a lady, and one in this case is Miss Mirna Lopez. So Mrs. Lopez, would you like to help us, please, with point number one and point number two, please? Just read. Solo ayuden a leer, por favor. Okay, teacher. Point one. We use indirect question when we want to be polite. They are more polite than direct question. Thank you. I'm going. I'm going to just stop over there. Just one second. So polite, you know, polite, and that means cortés, ser cortés, you know, to have polite. good manners, you know, polite. polite. You polite. Know, uh, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Point number two, please. With indirect questions. Or mm -hmm. with... Yeah, go ahead, please, uh, Mrs. Lopez. Ah, yes. With indirect question, you see the bear be... The verb becomes after the noun. The is different to the to direct question. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick pause over here and and I'm going to uh, minimize this screen. Okay, let me just one second come over here. Okay, just one second come in here. Thank you. I appreciate you know you're helping me with with this reading. Um. I'm gonna do it right here. So hold on, please. So let's pretend that this is this is uh, our whiteboard. Voy a poner aquí el texto, verdad? Que les quiero explicar. Yeah. Entonces, let's talk about the first one. Yeah. Usted puede comenzar la oración. So you may start the, you know, the sentence. I mean, the, the, the right question. La pregunta normal es, le voy a preguntar ahorita. Directamente, you know, directly. What time is it? And I'm going to ask, uh, let's see, I just see a, a very familiar face, Elizabeth Gonzalez, Miss, Mrs. Elizabeth Gonzalez. So, Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, what time is it right now? Could you please tell me? Oh, eh. <laughs> what is the question? What time is it? What ah, time is it? Ah, um, it's uh, nine twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's say nine twenty. Okay, let's see. It's nine twenty. I appreciate that. So this is. O sea, alcanzan a ver lo que estoy escribiendo. Solo necesito que me confirmen eso. Yes. 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 Yeah, you can you can see what I'm writing over. I appreciate that. That's the first you know uh, option I have over there. But option number two. En lugar de preguntarle así directamente o así como pedrada o un balde de agua fría, ¿verdad? Que la agarré en curva, en curva a Mrs. Uh, González. So I can ask you, you know, puedo ser más cortés, ¿verdad? Tener mejores modales. I can ask you, can you tell me? And then what am I asking? O le puedo preguntar todavía, seguir al nivel, ¿verdad? To be more polite. I can ask you, could you... All right, could you tell me? Podría, verdad? Okay. O pudiera. Or, or I, I can also ask you. Okay. Y esta vez quizás más polite. You know, I was wondering. Okay. O de una forma indirecta y no le pregunto a usted, verdad? Sino que solo lanzo la pregunta. Okay. I don't know. So, you see over here that the first question, which is this one, the one I'm highlighting in red, has these many possibilities. If I were a math teacher, I would say tiene n posibilidades. You know, Mirna, más o menos. So-so. Mm, so-so, right? Yeah, I would say so-so. 
what, but my point is that this question has has uh, some possibilities. So it has one, two, and then it has this other, I would say uh, three and four possibilities in there. Okay, and then we can add more and more, okay? So, but let's keep it simple, okay? Let's keep it just, can you tell me? Or do you know? All right, what comes after this? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? Estoy preguntando el qué. And then I just go, you know, copy and paste. What? Copy and paste what over there? Okay, copy and paste. All right, so just one second. And then you go what? Are we good up to this point? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so can you tell me what? El que le pregunte, you know, what did I ask uh, Mrs. Gonzalez? Que, que le pregunte, what did I ask? What did I ask you, Elizabeth, by the way? Um, puede, you can say it in Spanish, right? Don't, uh -huh, don't worry about it. Puedes decirme qué hora es? Ajá, le pregunté la hora, ¿verdad? Can Entonces, you tell me what time? Ajá, vaya, vamos paso a paso. What time? Uh, 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 what time? Y luego, ¿qué sigue? What's next? What's next? Ah, uh, what? Time. Uh -huh. Could you tell me what time? Uh -huh. It is? No. Exactly. Cambiamos el orden. Ya no uh -huh. es una pregunta directa, sino que uh -huh. ahora va a ser a partir del qué, del cómo, el dónde y el por qué. Va a seguir el sujeto. And then the, the rest is going to be just a regular stem. Va a ser una oración normal. Ok, okay un enunciado. What time it is? Como, como inicié preguntando, tengo que terminar... Aquí con un question mark. So I have to finish my statement just like this. It is. Just like this. All right? Oh, Simply, God. just like that. So what if I want to be more polite? Okay, so I want to start the same, you know, could you tell me? You no, know, could you tell me? And then the same thing, what time it is? It is. It is. Aquí cambiamos. No, o sea, no podemos poner dos preguntas en la mismo enunciado. Okay, no podemos decir, okay. could you tell me, ni podemos negar dos veces. No, ni podemos decir, subirte para arriba, bajarte para abajo. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. O más peor, you know, I mean, we say it, but it's not correct. All right? So, that's oh, example. Right. Over so, this but, is point one. Yeah, this is pretty much point one. That's correct. Point one and two, I would say. You know, Only point, point one. one. Only point one. I mean, no, this also applies to uh, point one and point two, okay? Point two. Oh. Yes, porque el punto uno nos está diciendo para qué las utilizamos, para ser más corteses. Más el, directo, ajá. No, más indirectos. Y el punto dos... Más, el, más directo, correcto. Uh, no, de hecho, indirecto. Sí, el punto uno... Ah, ya, yeah, you're right. El, el punto, punto uno, el punto uh -huh. uno, más que todo, tiene que ver solo con la, con, Le, con la uno de la de no, la nos explique. No, explica el concepto, correcto, correcto. Nos explica, nos define oh. qué, es, qué, es una, qué es una indirect question. Y el punto 2 nos dice un ejemplo particular. Nos dice cuando utilizamos con el verbo to be. This is what happens. Ok. Oh. And then point number 3. What happens? What happens yeah, what happens if we are using el verbo do en presente o en pasado? Puede ser did. Entonces yo le voy a poner aquí un ejemplo. What are you doing? Y le voy a preguntar. Eh, let's see, I'm gonna ask over here. Uh, Felipe, I don't think your audio is good, but I'm gonna ask you. So Felipe, what are you doing right now, sir? Felipe, can you hear me, sir? No, he cannot hear me, right? Okay, not a problem over here. I'm gonna ask... Um, I am in the English class. Okay, thank you. So, you, but right now you were like listening to me, right? I would say, something like that. Yes? Yeah, we cannot hear it, but that's okay. So, can, so we start, can you tell me? And then I'm also asking what, right? What you doing? Okay, what? Aquí cambio la versión, pero ya no es una pregunta de aquí, sino que la cambio a esta versión. What you, what you do are doing. doing. Uh, okay. Uh, But in this case, in this case, it's still the simple, I'm, I'm sorry, es el verbo to be. Todavía no me he movido, perdón, no me he movido al punto número 3. 
Sí, fue error mío, pero igual, ese ejemplo nos va a ayudar mucho. Uh, point number three, con la oración número seis, lo vamos a hacer. Eh, esta. Where do you live? Creo que sería uh, rudo de mi parte, ¿verdad? O fuera descortés de mi parte, es preguntarle, ¿usted dónde vive? ¿O dónde vivís? ¿Verdad? Entonces, podría preguntar, ¿me puede decir dónde vive? Right? Just like that. So, in that case, tenemos el auxiliar do. Eh, ¿Y qué hacemos con eso? We go. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell me? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? ¿El dónde, cuándo, por qué o, o el que estoy preguntando? What am I asking, Mami? Like, vivir. Pues, yeah. tú decir. The place, right? The place, o sea, place. el lugar. Entonces, voy con ah. where, right? Where. where. Can you tell you me wait? where? Estoy preguntando directamente. Where, ¿Dónde vives? ¿Dónde tú vives? ¿Dónde vives? ¿Dónde vives? Where tú? live No, where, you el sujeto. Where you live. Exacto. You where live. Where, where you live. live. What do we do? Ok, what do we do con el auxiliar? Lo borramos, simplemente lo que hacemos lo eliminamos. Oh. O sea, por eso es indirecto. Ok, pues eso es lo que hacemos. Una pregunta directa, gramaticalmente, usted va a ocupar los auxiliados habidos y por haber. You're going to ask, where do you live? Where, uh, what do you do for a living? Ok, uh, so what are you doing, etc. But in this case, lo borramos. If it's in the simple present, you see it's do. Si es en tercera persona, le voy a preguntar a alguien directamente. I'm going to ask you, Mirna, Miss López, ¿sabe usted dónde vive eh, su compañera uh, Elizabeth? I don't know. You don't know, right? So you don't know where she lives, right? So I'm going to ask you, where does Elizabeth live? That's the question, right? That's the question. Vamos a separar esto. Okay. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this is the, 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 the next example over here. So, I'm going to put this letter A. All right. Where does Elizabeth live? Utilicemos ese, el, el, la forma número dos. Do you know? Okay. Can somebody tell me the answer over here? Do you know? Do you uh -huh. know where? Uh, where? Where, exactly. Where? 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 Uh -huh. Where Elizabeth live. Elizabeth, it, we, we have to conjugate lives. the verb. Lives, tenemos que ponerla en tercera persona. Correct. Lives, exactly. So this is my point over there. Nice. Okay, uh, let's move forward over here. Si está en tercera persona, conjuguémoslo, por favor. Now, what if, if I'm talking about in simple past? Uh, where, no, I'm going to ask you, uh, let's see, no, how? Did you, uh, let's see, how did you cook, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, pasta, let's see. How do you cook pasta? ¿Cómo cocina el espagueti o la pasta? Okay. How did you cook pasta yesterday, I would say. Okay. All right. Just one second, please. Nice. It, forma indirecta. Ocupemos, do you. Could you tell me? Or could you tell me? Or could do you, you have any idea? Could you tell me? Uh huh. Could you and tell then? me? Uh -huh. How? 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 Cook. You? you how how you, you, cook? you cook? Pasado, right? Cook. 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 Si le pusiéramos aquí el did, it would be incorrect. Porque estamos haciendo dos auxiliares, un verbo modal y un auxiliar. Uh -huh. So that's incorrect. So that's why we go ahead and delete this, just like this. All right? And just remember to conjugate the verb. Si le preguntan en pasado, hace, hace la, la statement en pasado. That's the difficulty of the indirect question that you need to know how to conjugate the verbs. Esa es la dificultad de esta gramática. Tiene que conjugar. Ok. And that's what I'm doing over here. All right. And, and let me just go full screen over here. Point number four. Point number four. Level of politeness. Y hay niveles, ¿verdad? De cortesía. Ok. So you have, uh, can you tell me? Ok. 
I would say like it's like in between. Es como el primer nivel, quizás el más bajo. And do you know? Es como que it, it goes up. And then could you tell me? It goes, you know, more polite. But you can also say, I was wondering. Okay, me preguntaba, right? I was wondering. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this down. All right, let me just one second over here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna write this down. Puede comenzar usted así sin hacer una pregunta. I was wondering. Eh, hagamos esto. Eh, oh, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna ask you. Did it rain uh, today morning? All right. Can you see this one? Did it rain today morning? ¿Cómo haríamos esta entre in, in direct question? Did it rain, you know, this morning? I would say, did it rain this morning? Vamos a cambiar. Yes? Can somebody help me on this one, please? Did it rain this morning? Did it rain? Miran ustedes, miran ustedes el WS question, like what, where, how, uh, who? Do you see that somewhere over there? Right. Yes or not? No. No, right. So no. if you see this, ¿cuál va a ser nuestro puente, no, nuestro enlace? Nuestro enlace en lugar de ser el where, como en este caso, o, o, o el how, you know how, en el, el puente es how. En el where, el puente es where. En el what, the bridge is what, etc. But in this case, we don't have, solo estamos preguntando, llovió hoy, en la mañana. Mm -hmm. Podríamos comenzar igual, ¿verdad? Can you tell me, llovió hoy por su casa, ¿verdad? Can you tell me, or do you know, or, or do you have any idea, or I was wondering, depende qué nivel de, de cortesía quiero utilizar. Can you tell me, ahora That's una cool. condición, una condición, you know, a condition, if... If, if, if past if, tense, if, 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 rain, if it rained if rain, this morning, this morning. Mire, llovió por su casa hoy. Dicen que iba a llover, ¿verdad? But mm. did it rain or not? Yes? Yes. Okay, so that's a possibility. All right? So, and that's, that's, yo le pregunto, ¿y el banco está abierto? A esta hora. Le voy a preguntar, is the Can bank, is the, is the bank open? Okay. Or, no, is the, bank, is the bank closed right now? Okay, obviamente. So, is the bank closed right now? And then let me just uh, move this. So, a ver un poquito aquí, you know, like overlap. There we go. Sorry about that. So, is the bank closed? You know, I'm using this one. Let's see that this is number uh, 15, you know, 15 example. Number 16. Uh-huh. Comencemos. Eh, do you know? Do you know? Uh -huh. Do you know uh, if, if, if? Do you know if, if? And then? The bank closed. If the bank? If the bank? Uh -huh, Open. Is closed. It's closed. There we go. Um, do you know if the bank is closed? And we have, we have to book put a question mark over there and just like that. So as a recap, you know, como recapitulando, we use indirect question, you know, to make a question more polite, okay? And then if you have the verb be, just make sure you put it in the end, okay? Lo ponemos al final, okay? Remember that, we put it in the end. And then if it's do or did, we delete them. We, know we erase them, we don't need them. Si está el did or do or does, we delete them and we conjugate the verb. You know, where do you live? Can you tell me where you live? Where does she live? You know, can you tell me where she lives? Okay, etc. And point number four, just remember the level of politeness. You can start, you can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Do you have any idea? I was wondering, etc. Point number five, okay. We, we, you know, we switch. We go from more polite to impolite, etc. Like in this example, I'm about to show you right now, okay. So uh, let me just one second over here. Like, um, let's see, this. Now take a look at this, point number four. And this is also related to point number five. Do you know what you're doing? Do you, do you, do you know what you're doing? Do you know, uncertainty. Do you know who I am? 
Do you know who I am? Like that, right? Está mostrando rencor, el enojo. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Esa frase es bien común. You, you know what I mean? Clarification. Or you know what I'm saying over here? You know what I'm saying? ¿Sabe lo que estoy diciendo? En lugar que le pregunte, what I'm saying? What am I saying? Yo le digo, you know what I'm saying? O sea, pasamos, ¿verdad? To be more polite, a, a ser un poquito más informal. Any questions about this so far, everyone? I mean, let's get to practice. Let, let's get to practice. I think you're going to get this if you if you actually uh, practice over here. So I'm going to send to you, you know, in the personal chat, this. And also in this meeting chat, I'm going to send this uh, image so you can practice with a classmate. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, but I cannot attach. I cannot attach right here. Yeah, I, I think I do. Sorry about that. Great. So I'm going to split you in pairs. And then, uh, okay, uh, let me just one second. And um, here we go. Uh, hold on, please. It does equal. Um, but let me just one second. And uh, there we go. So on this uh, meeting chat, I just sent to you an image and that's the one you're gonna be using to practice. But I'm, I'm also going to send the same image to the personal chat, which is WhatsApp. So just go ahead and take a look at the image in there. And uh, hopefully you're gonna be able to, to practice over here. But my question is, ¿estuvo la explicación? O sea, ¿creen ustedes que necesitan mayor explicación o mejor vamos a practicar y nos damos cuenta en el camino? I think we should practice, right? We should practice, right? We should go practice. Yes, I think it's better. So I'm opening. Thank you for that. I'm opening the break room rooms right now. And then uh, there you go. So it is with David, Yvette with Raquel, Elizabeth with Rodrigo, Felipe with Giovanni, and Mirna with uh, Noria. So go practice, please. So all you got to do, you got to do on, on this, if I'm sharing this screen correctly, is so you turn the direct question into an indirect question like where is the station you go could you tell me where the station is are you coming to the party could you t could you let me know and then you continue go ahead please All right, so uh, Nodia, are you having any issues with your, okay, there we go. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Uh, hello, David. Hi, teacher. Are you staying my 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 bedroom? <laughs> That's okay. I know it's late. It's a Monday, but it's a good thing that you're over here. Uh, you know, it's good. Okay. Now, were you able to see the, the short explanation I gave about this? Uh, I maybe just don't understand. Okay. No, Raquel. I'm sorry. Raquel is, is, is speaking about... I cannot hear you, Raquel. I cannot hear you. Raquel is, is you know, is texting me and she's asking if I could hear her. But no, I cannot hear her. Um, so uh, only let, text. Yeah, only text. <laughs> no. yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> I know, you know, I know this is hard. You know, it's hard times. You know, this is this is uh, I would say like uh, like a miracle that we are over here. Sometimes, se va la luz. You know, there's a blackout, <laughs> or you know, you have a problem at home. Your child, your brother, your mom, something you know happens. Okay, okay. so let's try to practice over here. Si quiere, if you like, uh, Yvette, let me share that presentation with you. Okay. Yo soy medio ciego, así que <laughs> vaya. Do you have any questions about this, Yvette, that, that I can help you with? How to do this? Uh, could, could you tell me? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, could you tell me where? Uh -huh. Where is the station? El verbo to be va a ir siempre al final. Uh, it, it has to go at the end. Mm -hmm. The station is. Yes. Could you tell me where the station is? Correct. Correct. Okay. And and you know we use like WH questions like what, how, where, who, and which as the bridge. You know, like the link, como el enlace de la pregunta. Could you tell me? A, 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 ¿Qué estoy preguntando? You know, the end of the statement, the question over there. Like. Okay. Uh, the well, simple part is where is the station? Correct. Correct. Okay. Because. Um, when they change the format and question uh -huh. is, could you tell me where the station is? Correct. Okay. Um, could you tell, no, could you let me know? Uh -huh. But in here on number two, uh, Yvette, we don't have, you know, a connector. We don't have a bridge. You know, we only have are you coming to the party? We don't have a, a bridge, so there's no something, you know, to connect. Would you let me know with, are you coming to the party, right? <laughs> so what do we do in this case, Yvette? Teacher, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now, Raquel. Thank you. Nice, you're back. <laughs> okay. Now you see how happy, how happy uh, Yvette is now? I know to hear you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, you know, she jumped, you know. <laughs> For, yeah. uh, for the okay. first, uh, yes. Sorry, help for the, us with number two, if you don't mind. Okay, uh, in this case is, could you let me know uh, you are coming to the party? You're missing something. If, see about uh, uh, yeah. if. If you, if you are coming to the party. Why, why did you change if? Because it's a possibility, because you're not asking why, how, when, you're not asking, you know, what, how. You're just asking, are you coming to the party? So you want to know if you are coming to the party or not. Oh. Okay. For example, I, I'm asking, I'm asking you right now, uh, uh, Yvette, did you have dinner already? Just say no. Uh. And then I'm going to ask you, could you tell me if... Have you had dinner already? Okay. Okay. So if you don't see what, if, where, if, how. If yes. the change, um, okay, the change, if, um, or, or no, and the answer, or yes or no. Correct. If it's, okay. a, if, it's a, if it's a yes, no question, if it's a yes, no question, we, we add if to make it indirectly. That's it. Okay. It doesn't matter if, it, if it's in past or if it's in present, if it's in future, plus cuan perfecto, no sé qué, pretérito, you know, everything. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but as long as it is, uh, as long as it is, uh, uh, I would say yes, no question. We add if, but let's continue. We, you know, I gotta go visit some of your uh, peers to see how they're doing. All right. So okay. uh, Raquel, keep on practicing. So Raquel, you still here? <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, we can hear you. Now. <laughs> uh, okay. We. How does? No. Or if. El das desaparecía. Okay. Okay, and he disappeared. El, el, el auxiliar. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, so, uh, teacher. Would, you, would, would you like me to help you on something over here? Yes. All right. So, uh, Miss Mrs. Lopez, could you tell me, Mirna, which one? Number one, two, three, or three. Sí. Number three. Bye. Le leemos para que nos corrija la uno y la... Sí, sí, sí. La uno, could you tell me where station the is? The is? Ok, uh, bye. Ahora les, les voy a dar como así un pequeño tip. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, cuando ustedes miren al verbo to be, no importa si el, el verbo to be está en presente o está en pasado. Si usted quiere hacer una... 
pregunta indirectamente o para ser más corte, ¿verdad? la pone al final, el is o, o va a ir al final, el verbo to be va al final. Eso uh, es todo. Uh -huh. That's all you need to remember. Ok, so could you tell me? Y otra cosa más, las preguntas, o sea, la, las palabras claves como el WH question, ¿verdad? Como el how, el where, el where. What, what, el which, todo eso son, van a ser nuestro puente, nuestro enlace entre la parte inicial y la parte final de, de la, de la, oh, de la Por ejemplo, could you tell me sí. qué estoy buscando acá? Three? El lugar, right? Where, could you tell me where? Ahora el que estoy buscando. What am I looking for? The station, right? Could station. you tell me where the station? The Is, is. is correct. But that, that's one thing. But what happens? What happens if? O sea, what happens if? If I don't have, si yo no tengo el where, el who, el el el, el cómo, cuándo, dónde y por qué. Es una yes no question. Como yes. la número dos, mm -hmm. like number two, or number nine. Uh -huh, yes. Yes, no question. Correct. Sí. Or number ten. Th those are yes no question because it's yes or not. So what do we do? El enlace va a ser o el puente, el conector va a ser el if. If. Y le cambiamos a la oración, okay. le cambiamos la pregunta entre como una como una oración normal. Could you could you let me know? Uh -huh. If 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 you are coming to the party. Correct. You got it. If you're coming to the party. So decime si vas a venir o no, pues. Uh -huh. Ajá. Right right. Ponete... Correct. Ponete okay. claro, pues. Ponete claro. <laughs> okay. So what about number four? Number four, it's... Okay. It's a yes no question. Let's do number four. Just, just for the record. Number four. Has, has, has Mirna, okay, or Noria been to Mexico? Uh -huh. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Primero uh, tiene, no, primero tiene que identificar si es una yes no question. No. Actually yes, yes porque estoy preguntando, ¿ha ido a México? Sí o no. Ajá. 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 That's a yes no question. If. If. Uh -huh. If. Uh -huh. if uh, ¿Quién? If. If. Lucy. If Lucy. Oh, if Lucy. Uh -huh. Has been, has been, ha ido, ha ido, has been, ha ido, has been, has been to Mexico. To Mexico. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. You know, I got a bit to okay. some of your yes, classmates. No question if. Yes. Yes, no question if. Correct. If. And that's and it. And the other is. W is. W is question. question. Una pregunta abierta, question. digamos. Is a. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. el, 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 la, la WH question will be the bridge. You're welcome. Okay. Let me just read to some of, some of your classmates over here. And, you know, I'm going to close the breakout rooms, but uh, you still can stay 60 more seconds. O sea, aunque, aunque diga que se va a cerrar, tiene 60 segundos. Okay, you know that already. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. 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 Mr. Giovanni, uh, sir, sir, uh, could you help me uh, with number six, please? Could you help me with number six? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, practice, you know. I mean, it, it's up to you, don't, don't problem. So I, I'm gonna ask you, I was wondering if you could help me, you know, read to read question number six. Or can you, can you, uh, I would like to know, quisiera saber, you know, I, I, I would like to know, if you want to do number six. <laughs> but that's okay, I mean, no problem. I was just trying to uh, see if you could do it. Let me ask Miss Yvette, could you help me with number nine, please? So I was wondering if you could help me with number nine, Yvette. So, sorry about that. Mm. Yes, number nine. Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. He a lawyer is? Yeah, could you tell me if King? If ah, could you tell me if he a lawyer? 
if he is a lawyer, right? Okay, in this case, in this case, uh, ya tenemos aquí, if he is a lawyer, okay? Uh, in, uh, aquí hay un, un complemento un poquito más, pero yo, yo sé que le dije que el is iba al final, ¿verdad? pero en este caso uh -huh. no tiene sentido, porque could you tell me if he is, el que, el que, el que, ¿verdad? Could you tell me if he is, Quizás como un pequeño tip, muchas veces estas oraciones son bien literales. Es bien literal, ¿verdad? Could you tell me, podría decirme, dónde queda la estación, ¿verdad? O dónde está, la estación está, o está la estación, ¿verdad? Tienen una variación bien mínima. Pero en este caso, you know, is he a doctor? Could you, could, can you tell me if he is a doctor, right? So is he a, a mm -hmm. police officer? For example, is he a, is he the president, you know, of El Salvador? <laughs> is he the president of, of the United States? Can you tell me if he is the president, right? For example. Yes? Okay. Now, but I don't wanna uh, break your uh, head, you know, it's too late. Let's practice this, this conversation, you know, in person, okay? So we're gonna try to practice. Let's see, someone just send a message other. Could you tell me where the station is? Could you tell me, could you tell me in, uh, no, could you tell me if we're coming to the party? Could you explain how it works? Could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Uh, estoy leyendo la respuesta que me ha mandado, uh, uh, Giovanni. I like to know where you are from. Después del word, sigue una estructura de una oración simple. ¿verdad? Where you are from. All right, so that's the way it is. So let's try to practice. Let's try to practice this conversation. I'm going to send to you the information, you know, in both the personal uh, chat and the uh, meeting chat. Are we clear? You know, I wonder, you know, if you're, uh, if you're clear on this one. Yes. All right, so I appreciate your feedback in here. So just one second, come in here. You know, we're running out of time, so we don't have time to practice, and I think this is the last thing uh, you're gonna uh, practice tonight. So there you go. And now, there you go. Acordémonos que no podemos decir marcas ni nada de eso, verdad, si no nos van el canal. Así que, por eso les digo material, no es por otra cosa. Uh, so, uh, so look at my screen over here. Uh, what, what we're supposed to do is to practice this conversation, which in this case, it's between a, a Mark and a receptionist. You see that uh, Mark is looking for directions and for some information, and the receptionist is giving that information to him. And then you're gonna see that he uses a lot of uh, indirect questions like, good morning, I need, I need a little help if you don't mind. Good morning, say, how may I help you? And then he goes, could you tell me where the nearest branch is? Él podría preguntarle, eh, ¿dónde está el banco más cercano? Pero, do you consider that would be polite? Yes or not? If he goes, así, de, con pedrada, patada al pecho, ¿dónde está el banco? I don't think that's correct. You know, it, it's not polite. So, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. All right. And this time, uh, you're going to practice with somebody else. And... Uh, there you go. So practice the conversation, please. So Noria is with Raquel, Elizabeth with Yvette, uh, Felipe with Iris, Mirna with Rodrigo, and Giovanni with Jose David Magaña. Okay? So join, please. Copy that, everyone. Um, 
a bag. Yes, that is one. That is one. One you can, just you can across look, you can the road. Stream, if you like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in, in that way, you don't and force your 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 eyes. Yeah. A band, yes. There is one just across the road, right opposite. Opposite. In fact, anything else? It's open at night, so it's really open. And there are a crowd in the number of things. One, two, one, two, three. And then we the restaurant and stop serving breakfast. I will start a new thing. Oh, breakfast stop at at 10, but you can still order other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I better get started. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, that was very good, by the way. Now, if you want to start a conversation, or if you want to sound polite, you can ask just like this. Hey, hello. I'm sorry to bother you. I need a little help. If you don't mind. Necesito ayuda. Si no le molesta, you know. That's what we ask, right? Disculpe. That's what we say in Spanish, right? Yes, uh, Ingrid. And and then and then we go, you know, in the last sentence, like just like Felipe stated. Uh, okay, great. Thank you for that. I better get going. Uh, gracias. Yeah, mejor me voy ya. That's what we say. Now, uh, so try to practice this time. Um, so uh, Felipe, you're going to be the receptionist, and then uh, Ingrid, you will be the. Uh, it is. It is, it is, you be the, uh, the, um, I mean, Mark, okay, please. But I gotta go, you know, so share your screens if you like. Uh, remember, you can share the screens over there. Compartan sus pantallas si gustan. Okay. All right. Good morning. I need a little help if you don't need. Ahora, que hay que hacer? Yo, yo le preguntaba si, bueno. No, no, no. Ir a dormir. Ah, sí, el amor. Ir a dormir. <risa> Muy buena pregunta. Ir a dormir, cabrón. Yeah. ¿Ahora qué hacemos? Ir a dormir. Did you practice already, uh, gentlemen? Yes. Okay. All right, yeah, sure. I, I think it's time to, you know, to go to sleep. Y esa pregunta que hizo de ahora qué hacemos, la puede ser, de hecho, indirecta, puede ser. Do you know what to do right now? <laughs> what do we do? Do you know what? <laughs> what to do right now? Do you know what to do right now, right? Yes. Do you know what to do? La, las que le mostré, si se fija, la voy a compartir. Mira en la pantalla que estoy compartiendo o no. Yes. Right, so you can see the screen I'm sharing with you. That's great. So, uh, hold on. This is something else. Aquí se lo voy a mostrar. Aquí, mire. Ahora, ¿qué hacemos? Do you know what to do? Do you know what to do? Do you know what to do? Ahora, ¿qué hacemos? Ahora, ¿qué hacemos? That's what we say. Do you know what to do? Vaya, aprendimos algo, si se fijan. I go to bed. Ajá, yeah. I mean, but not together, right? That's weird, right? Yeah, it's careful, right? Bueno, no fregó, okay, okay. <laughs> sí, hombre. Pero bien digo cabalo. usted, porque solamente estamos hombres, ¿verdad? Entonces, así bien, que bien cabalo lo agarró. <laughs> <laughs> very funny, very funny. Very funny, right? Nice. So, let's go back to the main session and let's say goodbye, gentlemen. Regresemos, por favor. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Nice. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, I can see you're asleep, yo. <laughs> yo lo decía en serio. <laughs> you're muted.
All right, so I gotta say goodbye. You know, the class is over. And uh, hope you rest well. The descanse. Hope to see you tomorrow, you know. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, see you tomorrow. Thanks. Ha, you know, have a great night, everyone. And have a Thank nice you. week, by the way. Okay. Thank you. Hope to see you tomorrow, Mr. Ariana. You know, practice. We gotta practice, you know. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. See you okay. tomorrow. See you tomorrow, sir. All right, so um, for the ones that just came back to this main session, it's already time to go to sleep. <laughs> and I gotta say uh, goodbye. Tomorrow, we're going to review the answers to the, uh, I mean, indirect questions. So we're gonna continue re reviewing this, okay? So I give you my word. So have a good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Bye.